hey, is your hair looking crusty like this? Then you need to get it hydrated, sis. Pack it, we ship it, take off in this go. Thank God that I don't have to let the corn go. And that's just how it go. Tryna go make me some more. I'm tryna work out a show. Then go get another load. That's just how it go. Tryna go make me some more. I'm tryna work out a show. Hey, Boo Kitty, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anya. Hey, how y'all doing? So, yes, I'm coming to you live and crusty. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> If you hear howling, I'm sorry. It's my dog, Husky Life. <laughs> so, y'all, um, my hair is very, very dry, you know. As you can see, I haven't washed my hair in, like, three weeks now. And I've decided to slap some gel on it because, you know, I just need to do something with it real quick. But now it, it's, it needs some love. Oh my goodness. He's howling so much. I'm going to just show y'all. Hold on. Y'all, I heard two different howling noises i'm thinking it's my little brother because uh, it was my dad <laughs> i was a little scared i thought somebody done broke into my house but anyways back to regular schedule programming damn this so tight never do it this tight uh i don't know who told me to do it this tight i don't even know which way it's supposed to twist oh jeez. And I got, oh, oh Lord. When you're doing this process, be very, very careful not to like rip out your hair when you get impatient. Okay. I got uh, one, perfect. It's a little, little hair came out, but that's not that bad. And the second one right here. You guys just want to make sure you're like super careful when taking this out. You do not want to rip your hair out. So my hair facts. I have low porosity hair. My hair is dry. I have eczema. Jesus Christ. I don't know if it affects my scalp, but sometimes I have like dry scalp. And I haven't washed my hair in three weeks. So this is going to be a hydration method. We want the most maximum hydration as possible. So the first thing you're gonna need is a spray bottle with some um, warm to hot water. And we use this because if you have low porosity hair, you wanna open up your hair strands so that you can achieve maximum hydration. So spray that all in your hair, just so you can loosen it up before we're going to apply our deep conditioner. Make sure to focus on your ends too. You know that's the oldest part of your hair. Make some love to your hair. Don't be scared. I need to loosen up this gel. Harder than dried up tree sap. I don't even know where I be coming up with these things, y'all. Don't mind me. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Right. My hand hurts from spraying so much. But now y'all see where my hair is looking like. I'm trying this new thing where I don't touch my hair often. So I've honestly been keeping it in braids or twists for two weeks, washing it, like washing as in like, um, I'll condition it in sections of the braids. And I can do a video on that if you guys want me to. Um, but yeah, I've been doing that because I need my hair to grow, okay? Like you can see it's healthy now, but I need it to be longer. I've been at this length forever. But anyway, so now we're gonna go in with our conditioner and this conditioner is absolutely amazing. This is the Aussie Total Miracle 7-in-1. This junk is crack. So I honestly take a lot because we are deep conditioning. And like I said, we want maximum penetration and you can see it's gliding through very nicely. I have a lot of gunk on my scalp as well. So, um, and I also haven't like shampooed in like a month. I don't, I only shampoo my hair once a month, but I will wash it like with conditioner every two weeks. I used to condition every week, to be honest, but I'll be lazy. And I feel like 
the lazy natural way is what makes your hair grow. <laughs> we'll see if this theory works. Let's us hope. Give me a couple of months. So yeah, just slap that thing right up on in there. Make sure you make love to your edges. We need our edges. We love our edges, <laughs> okay? And my hair just feels so good with applying this. Now I will detangle it as well because it's easier and better to detangle your hair when it's wet. Reason being, you won't snag your hair too much when it's wet versus like when it's dry and you're trying to detangle, you can like feel it like pulling at your roots. It doesn't feel good. You can hear breakage. Nobody wants to be dealing with that. It's better if your hair is moist. So make sure that you are really, uh, make sure that your hair is wet when you wanna, you know, detangle your hair. So we're just gonna work this product in. You can see my curls really, really love it. Like even though my hair was curly before this, um, because of the gel and I wet it to activate it, you can see like my curls just forming like way, way more. Here's a close up. Yeah, it's getting to the skin too. If you wanna see my skincare routine, I will link that above. Got y'all, I got y'all with the tips. But yes, you can see, I did recently dye my hair December 23rd and my curls still intact. Shout out to my hairstylist. I live in New Jersey. If you guys want to go book with Ayana, she's absolutely amazing. So now that my hair is nice and coated with the conditioner, I'm going to... I don't know why I wet my comb too. And I just take it like section by section to detangle. You see how easy, how much easier it is to detangle. And if I come in like with a little hiccup, like you see, it's a little harder to pull. I don't tug it too much. I'll just take the comb. Like if I, if I was stuck here, take it back out and slowly work my way up to the top. I always want to detangle from tip to root. And I don't feel like sectioning my hair off with my clips. They are in front of me, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like being popped by my clips. And you can honestly tell which side is detangled and which isn't. So it's easy for me to do like sections this way. And I'm making sure to be very gentle and take my time with detangling. Being lazy, a lazy natural honestly might be the best way. It's always better to, you know, not manipulate your hair too much because that can cause unnecessary breakage that we don't want. And I don't want auto split ends and stuff. So we're trying new methods because your girl wants booby length hair. So this is what I've lost from not washing my hair for three weeks. This is good. This is why you should always detangle, you know, before you go on with any shampoos, anything like that. It's perfect way to lose as little hair as possible. So honestly, I'm probably gonna deep condition for like an hour, two hours. So I'll be back in two seconds to y'all, but to me, I'll be back in two hours. So I'll be back, I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so I've deep conditioned for like two hours now. Um, my hair, ooh, she feels so good and she smells so good. Ooh, y'all, I wish you could feel my hair through the camera. Mm. And you see it's still moving, still flowy. Wow, feels great. So now that I let it deep condition, I'm gonna wash it out with water. Then I'm gonna go in with the, some shampoo and some conditioner. And I'm gonna go in with my Ite products. I really like how my hair felt with these. Or actually, I might go in with this um, detangling shampoo. Super great from Coils. I'm not sure if it's for color like if it's safe for color hair. I'm gonna do a little research on it before I actually wash with it. So I'll let y'all know in two seconds what I use. <laughs> this is the shampoo that I'm gonna be using. It is color safe, I checked the back. Um, my hair is a little dry, but it's not like, dang, I can't open this. It's not like horrible. So I know when I use this shampoo, it does like an amazing job of keeping my hair hydrated 
I did use this in a previous video before, you guys. You should go check that out. I'll leave that in the cards above as well. But honestly, I'm just applying the shampoo to my roots. Because my roots are the ones that need the clarifying. Not, why do I keep saying clarifying? Dang. All right, my hair is all nice and clean. You got, I don't know if you guys could see, it is feeling, well, you can't see how it feels, but you can see how it looks. And it looks squeaky clean. My hair does not feel stripped of any moisture. You can see it's not like stiff, still moving, which is a good sign. You can still see some of my curls, but I did like scrunch my hair, so. That's why they look a little dissipated. Okay, I ran out of this conditioner, so I'm gonna go with my Ite um, Silk Protein Conditioner. My hair is so thick, y'all. Like, if I turn to the side, can you see the thickness? Can you see it? <laughs> We're gonna detangle again. I wet my brush. My brush, I put my comb again. Okay guys, so I just detangled my hair again with the conditioner in it. And this is how much shedding I lost this round, which is way less than the first round of detangling that I did. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna wash this out and then we're gonna style and that's it. So I'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, so this is how my hair is looking. It is looking so nice. Obviously my curls dissipate when I scrunch and stuff like this you know see you see it disappearing and stuff and i still got a little bit of conditioner left in my hair that i'm gonna wash out but i was just coming to show you guys this is how my curls look nice and healthy nice and juicy and i just wanted to let you guys know that if you do this method your hair will love you because my hair is loving me right now it's super soft my curls feeling good. You guys can see it up close and personal. Wanted to show you guys, and that's what it's looking like. So now, all we're gonna do, honestly, is uh, just wash a little bit of product that I have left in my hair, and then I'm honestly going to braid it up because, like I said, the minimal way is the way to go for me now. So I'm hoping that this method that I'm doing is going to help my hair grow. We are on a journey, okay? Period. Okay guys, so one braid is down and I'm gonna come back when the rest of my braids are done. Whew, so I am back guys. These are my four braids. And like I said, honestly we in COVID and quarantine, not going nowhere. So, you know, these quick little four dookie braids gonna do. And for the next two weeks, I'm going to repeat the same thing. Um, honestly, so what I did was I combined my curly, what's it called? Kinky Curly Knot today, along with my African Raw Shea Butter. And then I used my Main Choice Growth Oil. And now all I'm going to do is just seal the rest of that into my head. And make sure you guys, like I said... Make love to them edges. Do not neglect the edges. And this is honestly the final look. I usually come back and show you guys finished product. But I know I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and I apologize for this wet stain on my shirt. It's from me washing my hair in a sink. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you can, you know, achieve the same style. Super easy, you know. We want to have we want to have the healthiest hair possible. So I feel as though the, we, the routine that I'm doing and the steps that I'm taking 
is gonna help my hair grow longer and healthier and faster. So lazy girl way is the way to go. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning into my videos and thank you so much for supporting me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We are on the growth journey. You feel me? Let me know what content you guys wanna see. But anyways, without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Bye.